good evening how are you all doing didn't quite check if i reached that thousand subscribers but then i feel you know like it's getting there kind of excited about it so that special episode i was gonna do for the christmas gotta wait maybe i'll not do it tomorrow all right nevertheless today's episode is gonna be very very special also um today i'm gonna show you a very classic as you can see from title it's gonna be one of the classics from the house of azaro's azaro puram I'm gonna be reviewing this and I believe I have a vintage bottle with me someone told me this is a vintage bottle I'm not quite sure if you guys know do let me know if this is the vintage that I own but as far as I know I haven't checked most of this is the vintage bottle but before anything else today there was a wedding today this wedding season going on in Bangladesh just to inform you guys I just posted a picture in Steven's group so basically today my scent of the wedding was this uh, it's a bit cold and then I was going with Lanui Delon, my thought just go with it. And then trust me, I got very, very good attention from this. I got head turning effects. A little bit more sprays, I went with six sprays. Two, three, four, five, six. That was my application. You need to get this. This is a 2014 bottle that I own. Even if you get the new, newer formulation, go with more sprays. This is going to give you head turning effect. This is quality, all right? This is sexiness cannot beat this cardamom lemon a little bit tea feel a little bit chocolate in gourmand dish feel one of the classics and then second one i'm gonna i'm having a little bit after a heavy meal i didn't mean to eat so much eat heavily i'm having some clear cloudy sort of a rc lemon i showed you so showed you this before just some sort of a lemonade <laughs> and the third i'm very excited about announcing this one thing i really have to really getting me and those other few other people excited this coming friday uh as i was telling you about that we're gonna do an outdoor shoot and then finally we i think we're gonna get there we have uh three brothers who agreed to meet up and in a place it's a restaurant we're gonna meet up around four o'clock this friday 4 p.m and it's gonna be a fragrance uh gonna be gonna be talking about fragrance we're gonna just meet up we're meeting for the first time so we're gonna start that community right i believe there are a few communities and groups in bangladesh but let's just go out there <laughs> let's take our fragrances fragrance passion out there all right so thanks to brother fahad he is a very cool guy very very you guys gonna see he's very handsome with a beard and stuff very classy guy and then there's brother shaikat also very handsome as well as uh, my junior <laughs> this other guy named joy his name is sandeep sahad joy he is very since the beginning we are you know talking about fragrances so i'm gonna be me so maybe likely maybe one or two more people may show up if you guys are in bangladesh and you want to join us the time is 4 p.m dhanmondi and it's called hot hut the old uh, restaurant the chinese restaurant and stuff and um it's gonna be just inside the restaurant i guess so just gonna meet up at four o'clock we're gonna be there for one to two hours two hours we're gonna be bringing two three or maybe four fragrances each right and we're deciding which fragrance we want to bring so basically we don't want to bring the same fragrances so we're excited to see each other's collection sniff out as well as talk fragrances and we're gonna do a short video maybe and we're gonna be posting this right here in this channel so very excited about it so bangladeshi guys girls whoever interested can show up friday okay so let's get into the fragrance review so basically this fragrance you know i'm why am i excited this one as you can see i have a very small bottle the box is a 30 ml bottle and it's edt concentration but this one this was a fine for me like you know one of those days you go to the shop and you're just taking out what you have in your collection so sometimes they'll be like we are having some sales clearance and stuff so let's put it in the forefront so they may heavily discounted so i believe i didn't get so much discount on this but i paid not much i paid 100 ringgit which is like what um maybe 10 oh shoot i think 20 no not 20 i think 25 yeah sorry 25 us dollars for 30 ml so not exactly cheap but from malaysian standard pretty good pricing so i was like as I was Puram, I heard about this one time. Some guy mentioned it in the community, like it's how great it is. It used to be a legend and whatnot. So I'm like, let's just go for it. I think it was Joy, the junior Joy I'm talking about, my younger bro. He is the one who mentioned, like, this smells very nice. And then this one is like a legend. So I'm like, hell with it. I'm just going to buy it. It's affordable. I'm not buying anything that day. So got this. And I later got to know I got a gem. Okay, so, and I'm going to show you. So let's just start. 
So for this fragrance, which the date introduced is 1978. I mean the year. <sighs> the year 1978. How many of you were born at that <laughs> year? I was not born in that year, even though I mentioned. <laughs> I am like super old guy. I'm the old guy with the <laughs> white beard. I was not even born. I was born in 81. So this one beats me in the in terms of the age so i'm not quite sure if the bottle actually traveled all the way from 1978 or not but pretty sure this is one of the older bottles all right so this is made in france and let me show you the box first this is like the box the newer one i think the box design is a bit different whatnot and you're gonna get very simple simplistic yeah azaro's sign back there you see the price was 136 and then the discount price was like later on became oh shoot Became 100. So yeah, made in France, House of Azaro and whatnot. And it's a 30 ml bottle as well as there is 50 ml and 100 ml bigger bottles. All right. So they come in also different prices. Look for a discounted price and stuff. As well as I think the newer one, the writing is a bit different. I'm not quite sure, but looks different to me. All right. And then there are three perfume for this. I didn't quite take down the names, but then note down the names. So there are three perfume who made this fragrance. This one is EDT concentration and classified as aromatic, woody, fresh, spicy. This is a barbershop filled fragrance. If you know, similar fragrance would be the powerhouses of uh, 70s, 80s, that sort of time. You know, this is if you know fragrances like Chanel's Egoist, uh, Rive Gauche, Bogart House, any fragrance, any of this power packed, like tobacco, like pipe tobacco, that sort of feel. And then uh, Paco Rabanne Puram, very, very close to this. That one is green. This one's more like a spicy, fresh, spicy, that genre. As well as, I think, Ted Lapidus House. Ted Lapidus. So basically, those are the fragrance if you're familiar with. This is going to be in that class. And this is right away, not everybody's cup of tea. This is a very, very mature scent. All right. So let me tell you slowly the other, few other flankers of this fragrance and what else this house has and the notes then i'll tell you how it smells okay okay so this particular fragrance since it's it's dated i mean like it's been a while you know it's it's been like what decades so obviously this fragrance was very popular back in the days and i'm pretty sure in france pretty popular and for those perfume lovers you know those who love vintage still pretty popular among them and this one definitely gonna have flankers all right they have flankers like elixir intense low limited edition 2014 15 16 each year and then the night time which i'm very interested into and the intense as well the intense one actually you know it has some performance issues with this edt that one supposed to solve all your performance issues so yeah lots of flankers tons of flankers for this classic and then you know the azaro's house they have some of my favorite fragrances i always think of if you think of azaro always comes azaro's chrome right but this one doesn't this one doesn't smell anything like azaro's chrome Oof, two different worlds right so that one is more like a summer freshy bit you know floral bit you know light blue sort of scent this is dark scent this is a manly scent this one is ballsy scent all right so as well as i think azaro they have few other fragrances like azaro's chrome legend and then few other good ones but this one i think is the legend for them all right so the notes in this are quite interesting heavy collection of notes all right so the notes would be caraway iris from fragrantica lavender clary sage basil basil anise uh, anise bergamot lemon leather tonka bean amber musk oak moss such huge <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm high on something today. They're, they're serving some food. I'm high on food. I gained, I think, 10 kilos today from the wedding. So anyway, I'm a bit high and, you know, happy as well. So a lot of good news coming up. So basically, yeah, as I told you, first thing, how does it smell like? Let me show you the presentation on the bottle. It's pretty standard with old kind of don't give a, you know, it's very like, you know, if you look at the old furnitures, that's kind of a feel from this bottle. It doesn't look anything modern. It says Azaro not very modern it's a very old 80s if you know david of cool water that sort of a bottle even older than that pakura banpuram says azaro blah blah and the bottom like i showed you it's like this you know edges pretty 
standard like classic looking bottle the sprayer it's kind of like a very old kind of sprayer as you can see it's not the modern one it, you can see it's like the round surrounding it has a very cold feel and then it's plastic and it has some chrome on the top so how does it smell how the sprayer works i think my lanui and everything is gone by now because i washed my hand since i got back from wedding <sighs> i think let's, let's just go here i haven't sprayed this in a long time so it took i think the atomizer was like empty mm. Mm -hmm. so how does it smell what does it give me what does it smell like some people are scared of this fragrance you know the young people they'll be like um azar or um the bottle looks kind of scary it looks like far a bit like alcoholic beverage a bit like leathery if you know john Barbato's house the leathery one the vintage many people they are scared of those kind of fragrances <laughs> be very scared <laughs> this fragrance right away when you spray it you get a blast of a uh, bergamot with citrusy opening and mixes with uh, something right away something spicy something very very distant from distant time you wouldn't imagine these days they're making a fragrance like this the sort of like powdery um, not really powdery bit of like um, spicy right from the beginning it has a uh, caraway and iris and the iris note let me tell you if you know diorome intense you guys all know about diorome intense iris valentino umo intense iris not the same iris nowhere near this one goes to a totally different direction right from the beginning it tells you don't fuck with me i'll fuck with you very very badly this one smells right from the beginning it's gonna be match your gentleman's scent and let me describe to you how this one smells like if you want to have an idea <sighs> okay imagine a movie i think the movie was called 1408 okay john cusack he gets stuck into that hotel it's a horror movie and then he starts hallucinating and then he that he moves into one room which is haunted and then all the spirits come and then try to haunt him he gets this nightmare tormenting all night long in the end i think he he, he couldn't battle it anymore imagine one of those old hotels haunted hotels with a haunted hotel room up there 40th floor it's cold you can hardly hear the street sounds and stuff the traffic and whatnot and at around 2 a.m. or in the midnight, you can you can see your window is open and your curtain, the white curtains, the very, very see-through ones moving in the air suddenly. And you feel like there's a spirit present in the room. An old man smoking tobacco pipe. Maybe not with tobacco pipe, but old man sitting in the easy chair. Wah, wah, uh -huh. I'm not trying to scare you or anything, but I'm trying to tell you, this one smells like old man spirit. That's why I love it so much. You know, you guys will be like, what the hell? How do you love this? Because you bought it, you love it. I sniffed it first before buying it. I wouldn't just simply buy it because it's like a legend. It gives me that lavender. It gives me that very old, those classic sort of lavender. It's not those synthetic, you know, you would imagine very young or sophisticated or modern. This one smells dated. This one smells like, oh, production is over. Maybe we need to give it some modern touch to it because it smells like that leatheriness, the vetiver, the green, oak moss, and then medicinal feel, a little bit medicinal feel from this. And the thing is, the top note, the fresh, the bergamot disappears very, very fast. Five minutes down the line, it's gone. I don't smell it anymore. It goes immediately to that leather and then the, what else is there? Any anise and then basil the green side of it if you know platinum egoist egoist very very darker version of platinum egoist that sort of a feel the leather mixes with it old leather jacket very very old those easy chair the seat that we made of leather 40 years down the line that's how this smells like <sighs> who would like this for dear enough if you like barbershop sort of fragrance, if you like a little bit dated, but you think those are class, classy at the same time, it's a real man scent and you don't want to wear. Let's give an example. People who like wearing Chanel, uh, Bleu de Chanel or, you know, Edition Blanche or maybe um, what else? Um, Ultra Mall. This is not their thing. This is not a school kid's scent unless the kid is very, very sort of like, you know, Amara. <laughs> like. One of those possessed kids who has special supernatural powers and he's like reborn and stuff yeah 
kids don't dare i don't think they're gonna like the smell of this it smells like an old man sometimes you know smell like balls <laughs> sack ball sack and stuff but thing in a good way it smells like a real man so do i hate it no way i love this fragrance because i am getting older i'm getting vintage so i'm leaning towards the vintage side right this is that kind of a scent the longevity on this is a bit poor it doesn't last that long i get like two to three hours so i'm gonna give it a try i haven't sprayed this in the winter time yet maybe i'm gonna get four to five hours that's my expectation from it all right and then winter time and then the summer time you can try it but i don't think the summer heat would give the best because notes like leather usually are for winter time right so basically the yellow looking bottle i think the juice inside is clear see through and the reformulation is not as strong as potent as this if you find that bottle looks like this i i'm hoping this is my vintage bottle but if you get something like this you're gonna get that all days if you if you imagining if you're wondering what 70s smell like at night when it was not that modern when you didn't have mobile phones you didn't have very fast cars this is how 70s and 80s smell like yep classic if you like pakora banspuram it will be something different if you like it has a vibe of peri lsm let me tell you it's very weird i'm mentioning this maybe the color of the juice is kind of similar maybe that's why but there's a cinnamon note in this which is very sweet this is very sweet fragrance i'm going to review this next but there is some sort of uh, spiciness in this which is very evident in this but in a very very spicy way the sweetness of this is not evident in this little bit of bergamot it goes away and then it's gonna give you the amber musk oak moss a little bit of tonka bean but everything in a very very sort of like leathery very very hairy in your hand and everything you're not gonna have like young maybe david hasselhoff baywatch he used to wear this clint is too i can see them wear it maybe um who else um you know from those time you know those actors tom Selleck, yes those are the things i'm thinking martin sheen yeah those are the guys i would imagine wearing this not the new younger folks all right this one the lacks that modern touch all right so basically yeah for longevity longevity and projection this is this is gonna get six out of ten for me for the performance for the smell <sighs> In my book it's gonna get very high marks because i love smelling something smells this rich it smells a little bit of a uh, old tobacco old this is mix of uh, spices and a little bit of tobacco and that mix of leather three blends very strong and amped up i love the smell of that because i was born in the 80s so it brings memories brings back memories for me all right so for the performance everything it kind of sucks six five to six but the smell for it i'm gonna give 10 out of 10 because i love it so much for compliments don't ever dare to try this in a date these days the girl's gonna run away from you moment she smells this on you likely but there'll be like a three percent or four percent in that population of the ladies who are gonna think oh this guy is super sexy because they like those manly men they love those men who has that confidence who are that arrogant and then they have that balls you know like father figure some girls like that in a kinky way yes for those girls this is gonna be a winner but for those young chicks you know like you know you dancing in the club ultra mall lovers one million lovers they're gonna run away from you thinking oh someone someone's grandpa is here a grandpa scent sort of but very mature kind of person so it's right in the middle so overall mark for me for me literally for me i'm gonna give this nine out of ten just for the smell the barbershop feel if you go into the barbershop they use some cream and stuff for your shaving and they put the old style like a old spice sort of a aftershave that kind of a feel from this okay so yes for that kind of fragrance for kind of legend it gets nine out of ten performance is one issue otherwise it's gonna get ten out of ten so guys thank you very much for watching do let me know if you ever smell this very unique smell very very beautiful spicy leathery tobacco -y, and then very power pack fragrance okay maybe in england i will see people all days in england people smelling like this you know yes right so don't forget people in bangladesh friday if you guys are interested anyone interested hot hut 4 pm i'm gonna put it down in the description and bring a bottle if you want to if you want to talk fragrance you just want to meet up you want to be part of the video we're gonna shoot a small video 
and post it up in this channel all right so i'll see you soon guys talk to you soon good night from bangladesh bye bye